This ancient war dog breed fought along with the Maradu Pandyas. These dog breeds are also called the Indian Terrier or the Indian Boar Dog. Hi friends, welcome to Joe C Pets. And today I'm going to tell you all about the Combat Dog Breed. And if you have your favorite Indian Dog Breed, please let me know in the comments down below. Named after the town in Taini district from southern Tamil Nadu, the Combe is another Indian sighthound. Other names include the Indian Bowhound or Dog. However, these aren't your typical hunting dogs. Combe dogs are one of the bravest dog breeds and can fight with the enemy till death as well. Size and Description One of the most distinctive features of a combi is the ridge of fur that runs up their spine and runs in the opposite direction to the rest of their fur. This breed is commonly compared to the Rhodesian Ridgeback and the Thai Ridgeback. Like all Indian side towns, they have a short coat to keep them cool during the intense heat of the Indian summer. As a result, they do not shed much or need much grooming. A short, glossy coat also makes them less vulnerable to ticks and parasites. Their heads are wider than other side towns and they have a black mask. Usually, Combay are tan or red-brown with a black muzzle. Their backs and sides are darker than the rest of their bodies. And their undersides are sometimes white. A great deal of variation is observed with the Combay's coloration. The height of a Combay is 40 to 50 centimeters. The weight of a male Combay is 25 to 30 kgs. Whereas the weight of the female combe is 20 to 25 kgs. Lifespan. The average life expectancy of a combe dog is around 12 to 15 years. Intelligence. Like other side towns, they are often one person dogs. But if they are brought up with a family, they develop very close bond with all the members of their pack. The combe needs heavy exercise every day and will become destructive if proper training and exercise is not provided. They have a nervous temperament and like most dogs, they will become ferocious when they are harshly treated. Early socialization with young children and other animals is recommended. Introduction to several smell sights and sounds at an early age can make them less nervous later in life. Trainability The combat dogs are extremely smart dogs, but can be very difficult to train. They are not recommended for most people and should be trained by someone experienced. Combat are eager learners. They are intelligent and are known to master many commands. Training combat dog requires patience, as they are easily distracted. Ensure that the training sessions are short, Long sessions will frustrate these dogs. The Combe dog has a natural guarding instinct. Positive reinforcement training helps the Combe to learn quickly. This also increases the bond between the dog and its owner. Combe dogs love playing tug. This strengthens their jaw and also helps them to expel unnecessary aggression. These dogs enjoy pulling on clothes off clothing lines. If you are drying your clothes, ensure that these guys cannot reach them. Friendly towards family. They make surprisingly excellent family dogs and are good with children, who they love to play with. The temperament of a combi is that they are very courageous and nothing much scares them. However, they are loyal to their family. Regular and early socialization is necessary if they are to get along with a family. Friendly towards strangers and other pets. While combis are very affectionate with people they know, they are extremely wary of strangers. It can take some time and lots of effort to be trusted by a combi. 
They are usually very good at identifying a friend but will not hesitate to attack if they or their family is threatened. A combi will not let you in their house unless you have permission. But they usually look much scarier than they actually are. They have some issues with animals that are not familiar with them and can easily get into fights with other dogs over territory. Apartment living. These dogs don't adapt well to apartment living. They are much better as farm dogs because of their need for physical activity. The short coats mean that they aren't well suited for areas with cold climates. If stuck in a cage or short space for a long period of time, they can be destructive or show unusual behavior. A large enclosed area is best for these dogs as they can run freely. Walks and games are highly recommended because the only thing they love more than exercise is exercise with their master. No, Sonus. Without good training, they can be very aggressive and dangerous. They are always alert and their highly developed protective instinct needs careful training if they are to be safe and reliable around people. However, they are an intelligent dog breed and take to training well. With that said, combis are only recommended for experienced trainers. First time owners make the mistake of buying these powerhouses and find these dogs unmanageable. Tolerant to hot weather. Like all native dogs, the combi dog is very healthy. Combi can tolerate hot and humid conditions. They do well with little need for medical care. Overall, the combi dogs are increasingly rare mainly because they are no longer used for their hunting roles and with the need for guard dogs disappearing due to modern technology. Few people can afford or want to keep this breed in India. Like many of the sightings in India, they are in real danger of going extinct. If you are really enjoying this, hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, share it with your friends and don't forget to tell me your favorite dog breed in the comments down below. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.